Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day. You guys are going to see all my eating habits as well as my not so healthy eating habits that I have when it comes to snacking. But I'm going to be completely raw with you guys. You guys are going to see everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions about any of the recipes that I make, let me know down in the comments section. Also, before we continue, I want to quickly introduce myself for anybody that is new here. My name is Cindy Flores, and here on my channel, I share my food transplant journey, as well as testimony, travel vlogs, lifestyle videos, workout videos, and so much more. So if you are new, definitely consider subscribing. Now let's begin. So for breakfast, I will be cooking some eggs and beans. If you are wondering what oil I used, I used extra virgin olive oil. So we're first gonna dice up some tomatoes, green peppers, and onions for the eggs. After our oil is nice and warm, we're gonna pour our veggies inside the pan and just stir. We wanna make sure the tomato is cooked and like slowly cooked so all the juice can come out of the tomatoes and it can be soaked by the eggs. While that cooks, we're gonna dice up some onions and these onions are gonna be for our black beans. And for today, I'm going to be using canned beans. I usually like to make my beans fresh. However, I didn't have time, so I just used the canned ones. And I do have some leftover rice from last night's dinner. So if you're wondering, yes, I eat leftovers. And I'm just gonna put some beans on top and eggs. Now I'm gonna add some Spanish cream to my plate. You can buy this at any Latino market. And I'm gonna add fresh cheese, which is known as cuajada. Also, you already know me, I'm a tea person, but today I was feeling a little bit of coffee. So we have some rice, beans, eggs, guajada, and cream with some coffee. A 
Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go to my mom's house. I'm gonna help her study. And I'm bringing my camera. I shouldn't be there long, but I'm bringing my camera because, you know, when you go to your parents' house, there's always food. So we will see exactly, you know, if I snack on something, I'll let you guys know. Um, also, I live five minutes away from my mom's, and I love that because you can, I can see her basically whenever I want. Um, if she cooks something, she always invites me. So it's pretty cool that I live close to her. Hey, look who's at the door, my mama Sita. Come on, Prissy. What's up, mom? Say hi to YouTube. Hi. Should I eat some banana? Or mango, it's not ready. I guess I'll eat a banana, guys. Guys, my mom has cookies, margarita cookies, which are one of my favorite when I was a kid. I used to love to eat these, but we're going to go for the healthier option. We're going to go for a tangerine. Look at these two. I'm just waiting to see. So I'm home from buying the groceries I kind of just bought for the next week. Um, what I plan to make for lunch is some steak and salad, so, so a steak salad. Um, so let's get to it because I'm hungry. My kitchen's a mess right now, so don't mind everything that's going on around it. After washing my steak, I'm just going to season it with some mustard, barbecue, and Thousand Island. to put it to cook and I do like to cook majority of my food on slow heat so the inside can be nice and tender adding some onion on top so that can soak in and get all the flavor. While we let the steak cook, we are going to prepare our salad. I love to buy these prep like bags from Costco. This is the kale salad, it's super tasty. And we're just gonna mix that up and I will be adding spinach.
also going to have some king crab and corn chowder soup. I got this from Costco. And lastly, I'm going to garnish it with some Parmesan cheese. So if you know me, you know one of my weaknesses are basically anything sweet. Um, I love sugar and it's very bad for me, especially with all my health problems. It's just not for me and I'm actually in the process of trying to cut down my sugar. I know I've said this many times before, but it's been a challenge. You, they say that sugar is actually more addicting than any drug and I can testify that it, that is true. But as like a, a snack, I usually go for like chocolate if I'm trying to... If chocolate if I'm being like extra unhealthy, but... Right now I'm gonna eat some vanilla wafers. <clears throat> I don't have that many left. Probably have like six. Yeah, like six left. I'll probably eat like three of these. And I don't know if I'm gonna eat dinner and if I do eat dinner, it's probably gonna be super late because it's almost seven o'clock. And since my lunch was more on the heavier side, I'm not feeling too hungry. However, I do want to prepare my lunch for tomorrow. I think I'm going to put something in the crock pot and have it cook overnight. Um, maybe some beans. Or, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to have half of a bagel before I'm gonna head to my mom's but before I do I'm gonna eat this little snack this is why I'm probably not gonna make dinner because I'm over here snacking I don't like too much cream cheese on mine but I usually don't snack this much but today I guess because I had two heavy meals. Not even that heavy, honestly. So I ended up getting back home like around 9.30 and I was feeling a little hungry. So I had some leftovers, just some rice and beans and steak. So I'm just gonna eat leftovers, some rice, beans, some burnt steak, cause I don't know who heated it up and decided to burn it. <laughs> so as you guys saw, that is exactly what I eat. It varies throughout the days, but I do try to cook at home majority of the time. And I try to eat as healthy as possible. And like I mentioned in the video, I am trying to eat less sugar. So it's like a process. Um, like I had the wafers and slowly but surely sugar will be limited and cut out completely. I want to make it like a treat of mine, it's not something that I eat on the regular. So I'm just trying to put in that work guys. It's been difficult but I know it's a work in progress. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comment section. I, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.